before our service commences. In the forthcoming week, Tuesday is the fourth Tuesday in a month of five Tuesdays. So, as is our normal practice, we shall be bringing the Wednesday meeting back to Monday <laughs> and holding the Tuesday meeting on Friday. <laughs> Please study these details carefully as we wish to avoid the most unsatisfactory situation that occurred on the last occasion when Tuesday was the fourth Tuesday in a month of five Tuesdays, <laughs> when a number of folk attended all four meetings in the hope of hitting upon the right one by chance. <laughs> I've been asked to remind everybody that the key to the side chapel, that's the side chapel, uh, is on the hook in the junction box just outside the vestry door. Uh, the key to the junction box is kept in the tall cupboard at the back of the church. And the key to the tall cupboard can be found in the roving chest, which is situated just outside the vestry door immediately beneath the junction box. <laughs> yes. the, um, the key to the raving chest is, is held by Mr. Dunfney, who has kindly agreed to make it available for collection on the first and third Mondays, and the second and fourth Tuesdays of each month. And on those months which actually commence on a Monday, uh, the key will be available on the first Wednesday, the second Friday, the third Thursday, and the fourth Wednesday of that month. The side chapel has been rather underused of late. I really do hope more folk will take advantage of this wonderful facility. <laughs> Friends, um, could I just say a word about communion? Um, those occupying the left-hand side of the rearmost block of pews, if you could make your way up the north aisle, through the door, into the passage between the church and the hall, turn right, just past the disabled toilet, <laughs> proceed round behind the altar, and approach the rail through the north door of the Lady Chapel. And you know, it really is impossible to overemphasize the need to remember that right turn. <laughs> Last week, Mrs. Cardio Fit, who is elderly and perhaps just a little confused, walked straight on out of the east door, along the high street, and eventually lined up for communion in the public bar of the Blue Cockatoo. <laughs> Consequences as I can only describe as grotesque. <laughs> Happy to announce the new arrangements for after church coffee are working extremely well. Uh, each Sunday we're adding to the number of folk who want coffee and actually manage to get some. <laughs> Finally, friends, I'm told that some of our folk, some of our folk have expressed concern regarding the complicated nature of our arrangements here at St. Yorick's. Well, you know, friends, if you don't come and tell me, your vicar, what's troubling you, how on earth am I ever going to know? Hey, hey, Come and talk it over. I am, as always, regularly available. <laughs> Seventh and twelfth odd number days in each month. <laughs> Whatever the problem, I'm sure we can work it out in time. Thank you. Glad <laughs> day. Thank you very much.